Welcome to you. If you're joining this either now live at um, just before seven o'clock or on recording a little bit later on, it's good to uh, I'm say it's good to see you, but of course I can't see you, but uh, it's good to have you with me nevertheless. I hope that you've had a good day. Once again, it's nice to enjoy some sun and some warmth. I've been to the uh, to the school today, to Staple Grove School, where I was presented with uh, a nice bouquet of flowers. It's the first time I've seen them. And uh, also um, I received the Easter cross that the school uh, pupils have spent a long time very thoughtfully decorating and is now finding its way to the church, where we'll have it uh, in a suitable place on display, no doubt, which was lovely. So uh, it's good to, uh, good to meet folk from the school with whom we enjoy a good relationship, as indeed we do with uh, Norton School too. So uh, been a good day. We come before God once again this evening for this quiet time of, it's called Compline, it's uh, just a space towards the end of the day where we can come before God and take time to reflect, to offer ourselves and our days to God, to hear a few words from scripture and hopefully to receive God's word for God to speak to us through the Holy Spirit. As always, the words are on the screen. So let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The moment will keep stillness for a few moments as we reflect upon the, dark, the last day, its joys, its challenges perhaps. And as we reflect upon the day and continue our walk through Holy Week, through Lent, traditionally a time of penitence, when we examine ourselves, we do so in the knowledge, of course, that we've made mistakes, we've sinned. And so we ask God now to forgive us and we recognise those sins. So we say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. So we'll just spend a few moments now in reflection as we listen to the words of the song Cornerstone, as we reflect upon this most holy of weeks.
Lord Jesus, you are our cornerstone through the storm. You are Lord of all. This week of all weeks, as we walk through the most traumatic and tempestuous of weeks, remember that the focus is upon you. But even through all of this, you are Lord. We ask that your Holy Spirit will help us to remember that you are Lord, not just in our lives, but of the whole of your creation. We hear the words of Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me. Your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, jo uh, thank you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written, as day by day they were fashioned when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God? How great is the sum of them? If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end, I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Words from the prophet Zechariah. I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. the Nunc Dimittis, Song of Simeon. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Well, in our time of intercession, let's take a couple of moments now, a couple of minutes before God having heard God's word through Holy Scripture, 
reflecting upon the days that we've experienced and simply enjoying the presence of God, giving space for God to speak to us. Almighty God, as we stand at the foot of the cross of your Son, help us to see and know your love for us, so that in humility, love and joy we may place at his feet all that we have and all that we are, through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. We share in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. You alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And may God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. thank you for joining me. The next service um, here online is on Good Friday at half past two in the afternoon where we share in the vigil of the cross so if you're able to then please do join me for that and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. <laughs>